The Green Room at Lift Vancouver is brought to you by Cloud9 Cannabis Coaching. If you have suffered from anxiety, chronic pain, or depression, like I have, you know full well how debilitating it can be. Brady Sparrow, founder of Cloud9 Coaching, specializes in microdosing cannabis to help her clients lead more balanced lives. Whether you've been using cannabis your entire adult life or just now learning about this incredible plant, Brady's simple microdosing guide will help you find the perfect balance in just one month. Brady is about to host her first 30-day challenge called Find Your Cloud9 in 30 Dope Days. I'm doing it and you should too. So why not go over to cloud9coaching.com and join us. Be sure to use coupon code Jackie, J-A-C-Q-U-I, for a special green room discount. What's going on, everybody? It's Celeste from Cannabis Wiki. We are here at Lifting Coast 2.0 Cannabis Business Conference and Expo. We are here with the president of CFAM, Gerald Major. Yeah. Cannabis social influencer, Jackie Child. Hey, guys. And who do we have as a special guest today? I know him as Mikey Cannabis. <laughs> I know Mikey Cannabis. So who, now Michael? I know. So my name is, uh, I'm Michael Chardulo. Chardulo. I'm a regulatory affairs and uh, quality assurance specialist at uh, Dicentra. Uh, mm. I focus predominantly on cannabis licensing, quality assurance, quality control, that kind of stuff. Okay. That's really where my interests and my passions are right now. Okay. And where I really feel like the industry is headed, where it needs to head, more quality focused and that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's basically, it. I'm responsible for all the licensing at Dicentra. Okay. Uh, from the federal level, the provincial level, um, I have a background in pharma, which a lot of people don't know. Um, I was doing regulatory affairs in the pharma industry for three years before um, taking the plunge, I guess you could say, into the cannabis space. And now I kind of want to take what I learned in the pharma industry and kind of help the cannabis industry grow, grow and bloom, you know what I mean? Like reach new heights right? Uh, for all my clients. Reach new highs. Yeah, yeah reach new highs. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So yeah, that's just, that's my background. So not a lot of people say no to you. Well, they can, but I tell them you're wrong. Right. <laughs> so the, the, the buck stops with you, yeah. right? So you you are like a guardian angel for patients. 100%. Yeah. You're the 100%. big drip. Are you a patient? Are you a medical patient or not? I actually... Before I came to Vancouver, I had scheduled an appointment to meet uh, to actually get someone because I do have my own personal health issues. Right. I do consume uh, recreationally, which kind of helps, but I was hoping being able to speak to uh, a physician, maybe they could tailor something more specific to like what I'm dealing with exactly. on a personal level. Yeah. Right. So I totally get that, uh, the whole uh, medical aspect and recreational aspect. I think both of them need to be treated uh, as equals, right? They're both equally important Absolutely. in this country. Equal but different. That's what exactly. we try to do here. <laughs> exactly. And they both need the same attention. 100%. We are all three, both medical and recreational. <laughs> but he said he wasn't. He said he wasn't me medical. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. But yeah. I am taking the, the steps. I Come do on over. One hundred percent. The dark yeah. side, right? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. And you may be wearing a shirt like this someday. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it as good fit. as he can. He doesn't fit into a shirt like that. You know. They don't I mean, make guys like you size. because <laughs> we get into these places. They don't look like you. They may be like ask. What is it? Ask. Uh, ask permission or just ask for forgiveness. Or beg for forgiveness. No, they don't ask for forgiveness for you. We so what do you do at Lyft? Uh, meeting clients, meeting friends, uh, meeting potential clients, just reconnecting with a bunch of people that I've uh, had the opportunity to meet on social media, including yeah. yourselves. You. So I'm actually really happy that I had the opportunity to finally connect with you guys. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, awesome. Awesome. that's the thing. Like everyone thinks Lyft is just all these pretty booths and stuff. They don't realize that Lyft is really about connecting, making friendships, sure. relationships, partnerships. That's what it's really about. Collaboration. Yeah, exactly. Are you we're saying that together. you've never been able to do this yet? Like you like this venue, what we're doing here? Like this podcast yeah, with yeah, you guys? Absolutely. Yeah. Love What's it. he going to say? This is shit. Well, he's saying, he's saying that, he's saying this hasn't happened before. This is the kind of stuff he wants. The only reason I really showed up is because I saw your shirt and I just had to sit down I and chat. That, that was that was the that call was this morning. That's our uh, cameraman. He does my wardrobe. He called that no, one. No, you, yeah. you, look, you look sharp, though. You look sharp. I got denied yesterday in the Remo. I got denied. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's new to come for 2020? What can we see? And uh, I'm trying to transition more into being able to help clients grow. Uh, I do want to become more involved in the medical advocacy side as well. Um, 
as you guys are probably already aware, it's kind of hard and it's so hectic trying to keep up with anything and everything in the industry because there's new aware. things coming <laughs> online all the time, right? So basically just becoming more involved in the community, helping any way I can, you know what I mean? Like answering people's questions, like connecting people with the people they need to meet to help them better their lives and for right. themselves. You know, I just want to like, 2019 kind of ended off on a negative foot for me and I don't want to go into 2020 on a negative note. Right. I want to be positive, stay positive, and yeah. just share positive. Yeah. That's what we're hearing, Love man. It. Love it. He's a nice hearing. tweeter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like in this industry, we all need to work together to help each other That's grow. That's the theme. You know, Collaboration. Right, man? Right. No more of this segregation Takes or Takes a village, buddy. Exactly. To raise Takes a child, a 100%. Yeah. Strong That's... and powerful message. I like it. I like it. So where can you be found online? Uh, I'm on Twitter as Mikey Cannabis. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn as Michael Chardulo. Uh, those are basically the social media platforms I use most. So you can reach out to me on both uh, platforms at any time. I'll answer any of your questions. No worries. Like we'll it. get you on as an expert. Yeah. I like it. I'd like to think so. Yeah, I'd like to think so. You thanks are. For, Never mind. You are. Later. You are. Yo, nice thank you for having person. me. Yes, yeah, it's a pleasure. Really nice you might want to sanitize your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's a little sticky. <laughs> oh, and with that said, guys, you know where you can get your cannabis talk fresh and a little bit sticky. Keep it locked to Cannabis Wiki, the green room. And we're out. Boom. <laughs>